Star 105.5. It's time for Wild to interview famous people. Frontman of Bodine's Kurt Newman. What's up, dude? Not much. Hanging out, getting ready to do some traveling, go to some shows. That's right. You're be heading to uh, Ravinia Saturday night right here in the lovely city of Chicago. So you guys, uh, you guys have been playing there for quite some time, right? Yeah, yeah. I just wrote some... <laughs> It's going to be like our 11th time we've played there, and uh, I wasn't aware that it was that many times, but uh, we, we had sent, set an attendance record there long ago. They used to not have limits to how many people could come out, and then they had us there one year, and uh, had so many people show up that they had to start setting limits to how many uh, tickets they could sell. Exactly. Now, you uh, got a brand new album out, Mr. Sad Clown. This would be number... Um... It's eight or nine. I can't remember either. Um, somewhere up in that range. And then there's a bunch of live one records, too. So, it's you know, you lose track of exactly how many you have. And, and uh, you know, it gets weirder with live shows, too, because you're trying to fit in so much material. So we Our shows tend to go around two hours plus these days just because... Uh, you know, you want to play the new stuff for people, and then there's a bunch of old stuff they want to hear, so the shows go pretty long. Kind of cool thing about this album, too, that a lot of people uh, are kind of getting a chance to see over the Internet and through different uh, promotions is actually headed for the end of the world. One of the tracks on the album is part of a promotional video for the documentary Countdown to Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they heard the song a little too late to actually get it in the movie, but they still wanted to do something with it because they thought it would speak to their cause, so... They kind of made a little video for it, uh, for the promotion of the movie, and I think that's up on YouTube. Yeah, and I'll put a link to it on my page, too, uh, star105.com. Type in the keyword wild. You guys can actually check out this video as well. It's really cool. It shows you guys playing live as well. Yeah, we were playing live in Red Rocks. You know, it was just, uh, you know, it wasn't anything we ever intended for release, some of that stuff, but they just thought they could piece it together with uh, some of the interviews and stuff from the movie and uh, that it would work. So it's, it's not, you know, the big enhanced live Thing, but it's pretty cool uh, image anyways, playing in Red Rocks there in, uh, up just outside of Denver. Now, you and Sam have been together for a long time. It's it's hard to find a musical duo that has been able to stick together that long. What's the secret with you guys to, that keeps you guys going and keeps you guys together? Well, I think it's always been kind of a uh, respect for the music. You know, um, you got to see it as something bigger than just yourself, because if you think that it's all about you, then you lose sight of things and... Uh, and things fall apart. I think for Sam and I, the sound we make with our two voices was always bigger than us individually. And so, um, we, you know, we respect that and we try to remember how important that is and how special it is, you know, because it's like, that's our sound. How have you guys seen your songwriting collaboration evolve over time? What What is what is different, would you say, now as opposed to even the early days of the Bodines? I don't think it is different. That's, that's the strange thing. Is we just kind of, uh, Sam and I have always kind of come up with our own song ideas apart from each other and then you know we'll write eight or ten songs and get together and kind of work things out and see what works together with us i think it's a little easier for me to write the songs because um sam sings with me and he can sing on my songs whereas uh the stuff he gets you know he has to think about creating it a little differently and i try to add things differently to it but um it's pretty much the same as the first songs we ever wrote now exactly kurt thanks for taking so much time out of your day and uh wish you the best luck you guys can actually check out the video too for headed for the end of the world for that promotional video to count down to zero on my webpage star 105.com type in the keyword wild kurt uh, it's been a pleasure man thank you so much i appreciate it no problem man enjoy the road all right <laughs>